Milwaukee public schools will close for the next four weeks. The news one year ago came as a shock to thousands of Milwaukee families, but at the time, the shutdown appeared to be temporary. How long did you expect this to last? Oh, certainly not this long. Leanna Nikelski says a full year away from in-person learning has posed challenges for her fourth and sixth graders beyond the classroom. They do miss their friends and being in the classroom and their teachers and just the community. They have to work. We'll have to get some real internet in the house. Shortly after MPS moved to all virtual, many parents worried about the need for new technology and the educational impact on their children. Are you able to project how much of a learning loss there will be by the end of this school year? Education consultant Emma Dorn authored a report suggesting that students in urban districts like MPS were at greater risk of falling behind by being out of the classroom. They'll be over a whole year behind um, when they then have to start next school year. MPS officials did not respond to our request for comment today, but the district does have a tentative plan for all students who want to return in person setting start dates of April 12th for the youngest students, April 19th for grades 3 through 8, and April 26th for high school students. This whole, this whole year, virtual thing. MPS parent Matt Simona says he's anxious for the district to bring students back safely. Do it responsibly, do it safely. Um, no, I want my child to be in an MPS facility. Kent joining us again now. How certain is the MPS plan to reopen the schools next month? Well, that's the plan that the district administration has put forth. They're still going to continue to consult with the health department, and it all needs the approval of the school board, which will uh, vote on it, or is at least expected to vote on it in a couple of weeks.